Today, Donald Trump firing back at the man he's campaigning to replace. Number one, he's incompetent. Trump speaking just hours after the sitting president overseas in Japan said this about how foreign leaders perceive all, the New York right. billionaire. I think it's fair to say that they are surprised by the Republican nominee. Uh, they are not sure how seriously to take uh, some of his pronouncements, uh, but they're rattled by it. Trump taking the critique in stride and saying it's actually beneficial in the wake of the current administration's actions. If they're rattled in a friendly way, that's a good thing. He's a president who's done a horrible job. Everybody understands that. He's a president who's allowed many of these countries to totally take advantage of him. Trump back on the trail in North Dakota after bypassing the magic number of 1,237 delegates needed to clinch the nomination. The folks behind me got us right over the top. Pivoting quickly to his likely next opponent, Hillary Clinton. Here I am watching Hillary fight, and she can't close the deal. And that should be such an easy deal to close. And continuing what has become a round-by-round -round slugfest between the presumptive nominee and Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren. She's a woman that's been very ineffective, other than she's got a big mouth. Trump's attacks on Clinton, a message the Republican Party hopes will resonate even as it continues the process of coming together behind its off-controversial standard bearer. What I'm most concerned about is making sure that we actually have real party unity, not pretend party unity. Real party unity because we need to win this election in the fall. Unity inside Trump's campaign, not unlike with the party, a work in progress. Trump's comments coming the day after the removal of his national political director amid continued tensions at the top of his campaign. All as Trump's top campaign advisor appeared to reject the possibility of a woman or a minority as Trump's running mate, saying it would be, quote, viewed as pandering. Trump walking that back today. He's been misquoted actually a lot, uh, but we're going to have women involved at the absolute highest levels. And even under constant attack, remaining steadfast on his refusal to release his tax returns until the completion of an IRS audit. I don't know of very many people that have been audited for 15 years. I'm audited all the time, so I don't know what that's all about. But the IRS has been very professional. And as we move along, uh, if, as soon as that's finished, whenever that may be, and hopefully it's going to be before the election, I'm fine with that, okay?